it's after midnight and I'm doing this crazy stuff. Anyway, so, okay, so this is the Bosch type. Um, it's basically a turn signal switch, and what we're going to do is we're going to adapt it into a charging system. And it's really cheap. These things, you can get five of these things on Amazon for probably 12 bucks, something like that. So um, take a look at what the part looks like. This is from a video that I saw by a guy named Imhotep right on YouTube. And it's a simple configuration. The way that you set it up, it looks like it's upside down. But if you look at if you look at it this way from the back, there's numbers on the back here. So we're, I'm going to go by those. And I've got an 85. It's uh, 85, 86. The number 30, and then this 87 here is the center post. That's going to be your negative. That uh, in Imhotep's video, he had to take take this open and solder another wire uh, to the top uh, bar and then run that out through the case here. So we're not going to have to do that because we got the Bosch type and that's why I got this kind because it was just easier to just clip them on and adapt it and I didn't have to solder anything. Okay, so that's what we got and I'm going to show you the link on, on this to Amazon. So we've got the negative that goes to the source battery um, and I have mine marked so that it's easy. You can just see this tape that says source. Um, and then we have the positive it goes to the source positive. Now that's hooked up with the neon bulb, one end of the neon bulb right here to the number 85. And then the other end of the neon bulb goes to this diode right here. Now that's a N4007 diode and uh, it, it is important to have the right diode and to have it correctly, uh, to have it going in the right direction so it comes from this the energy that comes out of here goes into the diode and the direction of the diode is to this wire which is going to go to our our charging battery so we go from the same post as the positive to the charge battery or to the source battery and to um, over here I just used the clip from one of the other uh, posts to hold it onto the diode so I've got two clips going there so the, the number 30 and the number 86 go the, the number 30 is here on the bottom <clears throat> that's the number 30 right there on the bottom and then this is the number 86 um, they go to the diode and the other end of the neon goes to the diode too now the neon is there just to condition the line to keep from frying the circuit if you're not actually charging something and it will fry the circuit these things you know they're not they're cheap but you know they're not free so you definitely want the neon and it's a 110 neon you buy at Radio Shack I think they're like two bucks, three bucks at the most. Um, depends on where you live. Um, so that's an N4007 diode, the neon, that's a 110 neon, and these alligator clips and that switch, and that's the whole circuit. So you go from, from the source battery. So I'm gonna hook this up, and you can see, see the neon light light up? And that means you got it working correctly. Now, when you turn it off, now that also means that out of this 18 volt battery, um, I'm running here, and I'll make sure that all the wires are in the shot here, so that you can see I'm not cheating. That means that out of this 18 volt battery, you have 120 volts or 110 volts coming out here. It shows you right there. Okay these two go to your battery that you're going to charge. That's the biggest deal. It doesn't charge the same way that you would think it does. The input goes to the positive side and the output goes from the negative side of the battery to the positive of your source battery. So that's the key. Turn signal switch, adaptation, takes wires, a neon bulb, and a little diode. And this baby will recover batteries. You won't believe me until you try it yourself. Less than 10 bucks, mind you. And you can save 100 bucks on a new car battery. Now, it might take three days to charge up, deplete, recharge again. Um, my battery was dead. It took all day and all night to bring it up to charge again. So it could take you a week, you know, but it, just leaving it there. And once it gets up to a regular, what appears to be regular charge, drain it all the way so that it's not just a surface charge and then charge it again. Do that a couple of times and it might take a while. This one's not the fastest battery charger, but it will do it. So there you have it.